What's up guys? Welcome back. Amazing RC. It's your boy Brian and I have a brand new product, banggood.com. Super excited to get into this box. Now today we're just going to do an unboxing. I'm going to give you guys some background on why I went to Banggood for this specific product. And, uh, uh, and, and very soon we're going to be using this like this weekend and you guys are going to get a second video and how I absolutely feel, how it works and, and quality and everything else. So before we get into this box, let's give you guys just a tiny bit of background. Now, I have been airbrushing for about a year, maybe a year and a half, been painting for a very long time, used to use aerosol cans. Um, I painted quite a few things with aerosol cans. I mean, I painted that with aerosol cans. So I, I know my way around, you know, painting a Lexan body. I wanted to get into airbrush for a very, very long time. And finally, Denny up at Smoky Mountain Hobbies got me into airbrushing. He had, he had quite, quite the setup down there. And I, I picked up this really great Omni gun. And uh, this, is, this is the name brand gun. Uh, this is the box that it came in. It's a siphon siphon fill gun and not knowing anything about airbrushing in the very beginning i picked this gun up instead of a gravity feed gun two different types of guns you got gravity feed you got siphon feed so i got this gun and i i sprayed how oh, i don't know um maybe 10 or 15 different bodies with it got rc fun speed run body with it i uh, did a very very good friend of mine ray did a couple cars for him sprayed outside of bodies inside of bodies um i i really liked how how it sprayed now the reason being is is i didn't really have anything to compare it to now along the way i learned what it took for a siphon feed gun to actually work and basically you put your paint inside here and this little bottle goes underneath the gun. You've got your, your hose attached and you're into your, 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 uh, your air supply. And basically it's going to shoot quite a bit of air through this because the air has to cross above this tube here and pull, create suction and pull paint out. It's, once it hits the air, the air is so violent. You really got to get quite a bit of air running through this gun to get the paint moving. That poses a problem when you're really wanting to get some intricate work done. So for that, I didn't like. I also really couldn't get a real good control or handle on how the adjustments worked on here. Now, it did come with very minor instructions and what the couple of adjustments did. This is a dual action gun, just like this one. Now, I paid, I believe, $65 for the gun. Uh, I did get the hose with it. However, I did not get the little one eighth to, uh, 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 God, I think that's, uh, is it one eighth to one eighth, one eighth to a quarter? I don't know. Very small to very small fitting that goes from here to here. I did not come with that. So I had to find that fitting and that was actually very difficult. So I finally got my gun to work. I sprayed a few bodies with it. I mixed results. I, I mean, I had some really great work come out of the gun. I can't, can't say that, but I could never really figure the gun out. Lots of air to come out. And then finally, and the last thing I sprayed, I think was RC Fun Speed Run Body, it broke. That little piece that I found, the little coupling that got from the gun to the hose, snapped, and it snapped flush. It's inside the gun. Gun is completely worthless. Maybe I can drill that out. I'm sure I can fix it. But I went on banggood.com, and I'm extremely excited that I did. I picked up this dual action gravity feed gun, $46. I think I paid $41 for my affiliate program. I had a few of those bang good uh, BG points. Came in this box. It came in flawless condition. I'm over on the US side of things. And if you're on the US side of things, uh, two things you can expect from Banggood. Number one, it's going to take a considerable amount of time. And number two, well, it could come a little rough. Every once in a while, some of the RC cars I've gotten, or uh, maybe a transmitter, it could, could be a little rough by the time it gets there. I've never had anything broken, but the box can be rough. This, this is put in a box sturdy enough to where it got all the way across the water without a scratch on it. So, points already. Once I got into the box, I was very pleasantly surprised at what I found. Now, remember, I paid $46. Let's just say I paid full price for this. $46 I paid for this. It comes with everything that I needed. It, it has the hose, okay, already, and 
the lack of a coupling down here at the bottom has actually a, actually that is a coupling. So this does come out, you can replace this. I actually thought that was fixed in the gun. I thought it was a, a, a little bit of a cheaper thing, but this is a big half inch to half inch coupling. I mean, this is a good solid fit. I've already had this at the, the store earlier and I, I had to mess with it. And I haven't run any paint through this yet, so I can't give a full seal of approval. I will put a link at the end of this video for you to check the gun out, but I am not giving my 100% seal of approval yet because I want to fire some paint through it before I do. And I will say this, the dual action on this, when you pull the trigger, and again, pistol style, as opposed to being on top of the gun, I didn't like that. I will say that. This cramped my hand. When I was up on top and you're holding this, this is glass, this is quite heavy. So you're trying to pull this back and get back and forth, and I'm sure other people, no problem. It was just too much. It just, I didn't, it didn't feel right. This is a pistol grip, and who knows, three weeks from now I could hate this, I have no idea. I don't think that's gonna be the case though. Extremely comfortable in my hand. The dual action, I can feel them both. They're definitely in there. I've got my adjustments all the way through. It does come with some instructions, um, or, or whatever this is. Let's see what it says. This is a schematics. It does say how to spray, so we do have a couple couple instructions here. Um, I think there's a, maybe a photograph. I'll get a photograph of this and, uh, and throw it up there so you can check it out. Um, it does not give a ton of instructions. Now, I will go online and see if there's anything else for that, um, but who knows how self-explanatory it is. We will find out very soon. Now, it comes with three different size cups. You've got your big giant cup your medium cup and your itsy bitsy teeny weeny i just need to spray something really quick cup and i'll tell you right now that is another attribute that this gun has over this one this one you got to put some pain in it for it to want to siphon this stuff up if i want to just spray something tiny real quick i can throw this itsy bitsy cup on here spray the little thing some touch up something small no problem I clean the gun up, I'm on my way. If I wanna lay down some serious paint, I can do that as well. Now remember, gravity feed, guys. This screws in to the top here. And like I said, everything feels good, you know? Uh, no screw here, which I know a buddy of mine had one that actually the top screwed on and the paint got into it. He tried to let me borrow the gun. I couldn't get the top off, no matter what I did. So I ended up giving the gun back without using it. So this one just hops on top here. I know a lot of people actually shoot without the top even on it. I'm very excited to get paint to run through this gun, guys. Like I said, it's got three. Now remember, like I said, gravity feed. You're gonna put paint in here. You run the lowest amount of air through this because instead of having to try to suck the paint up, this is dropping paint on top of it. So you can run almost no air at all. I should be able to take one of the tips in here and sign my name on stuff. So we're going to start seeing work. If this works the way it should, we should start seeing some pretty intricate work coming out of this shop, including one of the very first two jobs that are going to come out of this, Gary's build, as well as RC Dale's uh, Axial Wraith, which I'll be spraying this weekend. Um, Super duper excited. Bunch more parts in here. Now, as opposed to my other siphon, fill gun, siphon feed gun, this gun, I believe, is a 0 .02 uh, or 0 .2 uh, uh, as far as the uh, needle that's inside of it. This has a 0.2 and a 0.5. So I will be able to spray uh not a bunch and a bunch out of the gun I, I like i said super excited guys I, I like what i'm seeing in here there's lots of parts i got a ton of stuff that i can try to figure out the presentation is really nice i'm telling you when i got this box this is what was in it it was the gun and 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 the bottle and then the hose was next to it in in the package and it was all ceramic nothing against smoky mountain hobbies i mean he got it from a distributor but i mean it just isn't there like this is. So this gun is gonna have to completely surprise me, guys. It's gonna have to be total garbage for me not to give this my seal of approval. I'll tell you, if if I didn't have to get up in the morning and run all over town to get tires on the old Veloster Turbo outside and then go to work, you bet your bottom dollar, Brian would be spraying this evening. But by this weekend, you are gonna see some work coming out of this very gun, guys. I got a link in the bottom of the description. Check the gun out. 
wait a little while i'll definitely get some paint running through this thing had to get out here and get you an unboxing guys got a ton of stuff coming to you we're going to start seeing some custom work coming out of the house again so stick around it's brian it's amazing rc we're going to get you guys another really cool video very very soon